I said I always go wrong when I go on a couple of dates with someone and they start to do this with me. So what are you up to this weekend? I'm like, that is none of your business. <laughs> Margaret Josephs, Drew and Medley, Danny and I are so excited to be chatting with you because you're in the middle of your Blonde Ambition tour, which is so exciting. The fact that y'all do live shows together, it like that is a fan's dream. Tell us about this and how it came to be. Well, first of all, Dorinda and I are literally, she's from New York, I'm from New Jersey, but we're like the same person. Right? And we're so excited because we're both blondes, opinionated, and in business. So we said, why don't we take it on the road? I think that's true. And you know... There's people always think that I could almost be on New Jersey, right? Yes. We're just a bridge away. We have a lot, you know. It's important that when you are not really filming anymore, and and you go back out there, that you want to make sure that people understand that you are not just a Bravo celebrity. You got to remember, there's a lot of life behind mm. us. By the time we got on Housewives, we have lived, loved, done businesses, you know, raised children, and we want people to know that that you know when we're not on the cameras that we still exist and we're running our lives and businesses and have a lot to say i know and i feel like it's exciting too because when of course you guys are on the cameras there's a lot of drama and things that take up more space than being able to dive into some of those like stories that are equally as juicy but just don't make it to air like so are you guys kind of excited to share some other sides of you or some stories you haven't been able to show people on TV. We're ready like, to share everything. That's why, that's why it works with Margaret because I don't like when I get on stage and then all of a sudden people are, well I think it's housewife. Yes. Like that. I think when you go on TV or you go on stage and people pay good money to see you and make the effort to come see you, that like on the show you have to be your authentic self and you've got to be ready to answer the questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're both of us are very authentic, raw and real. Nothing about us is rehearsed. And I think people see that in both of us. And I think that's why the show works so well. We just did our first gig in Harrisburg. And it was really like an amazing room. People felt very connected to us. It's very intimate. No matter how big the crowd is, it feels intimate. And we make everybody feel comfortable. And nothing's off the table. I love that. What is the show set up? Like, what can fans expect when they get tickets? They could, expect, they could really expect that we talk about our lives in depth, about mm -hmm. business, that we're women of a certain age that have reinvented ourselves numerous times. Like Dorinda said, we've loved, we've lost, we've had businesses, we're both mothers. People don't really know me as a mother. I talk about my family mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. and, and just different things and about like what's w about us for the future. And that we're not, that Housewives is a part of our lives, but it's not our entire life. And then we also, you know, they love to hear about your time on house. Yes, of I course. I mean, you can't get away <laughs> yeah, we're from not that. Gonna yes, There's always questions about how did you get on, you know, mm. what was your experience, how do you feel about not being on, you know, what was this, and people want to always talk about the fish room, or, you know, <laughs> you know, you, you subpoenaed the wrong bitch. That's <laughs> never going away, right? Yes. <laughs> and I feel it's also so fun then for fans to get, like, Marge's take on the fish room, and your thoughts on Marge saying you subpoenaed the wrong bitch. So do you guys enjoy... You're going to be like, oh, but Dorinda, you're like, oh, I'm going to talk some stuff about Jersey because they don't have my number. <laughs> yeah. Well, I always learn a little bit more about Margaret when I'm on these tours. I mean, you know, we all spend time together and hit it off. But, you know, when you're traveling together and you're on the Amtrak eating the <laughs> Amtrak grilled cheese, <laughs> the cold coffee, you really get to know each yes, other. Exactly. She loves a cafe car. And I love I it. I do. I love Are it you too. surprised? Not at all. No. no. That she, seems very much aligned with She is the best. Medley. She went. We split the ham and cheese sandwich. <sighs> Pretzel so bun. Cute. It, it was Ooh. it was amazing. We're I mean I t I filled them in a little. We you know we got off the train because I had to get home and I was like we're catching an Uber. And then we didn't get the train and we missed the train and we had we're house we were housewives in the wild. We we are not meant to be out on our own. But we I'll we tell did you a good job. We tra we were we transitioned very yes. quickly and we travel well together. We travel well and you know She's, you're you're a little bit more like moving parts. <laughs> <laughs> Because she panics. Oh, how many minutes till I stop? Who's going to get my bag? I know. I'm, I'm, I'm like more to, of like, you got to worry about waiting. those things. Well, only because I like Joe waiting on the platform oh, for me. You know, I don't, uh, yeah, that's, and I don't I, have a Joe. I'm a lone wolf. Oh, so. yeah, okay. Are we looking for a Joe right now, though? Are you making time this for a question, potential Joe? This question, Evan. This question. I mean, look, I feel like you're this a... This question. <laughs> are you interested in dating right now? Uh, I... This, I'm very busy. Because okay. <laughs> you told us you like to meet men at the funeral home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Going to the funeral? that was the best. <laughs> that, that was, she, that's that was and plan. your reasoning made yeah. so much sense. And it was a very chic one on the upper <laughs> side. Like, yeah. And it's so there's actually a great book out there called I think it's called The Morning. The Morning with the M O U R, M -O. Yes. and it talks about um, 
we're not going to do this again, all right? But it does, talk, <laughs> it does talk about this funeral home I told you about. But listen, we don't want to go there. She's going on the, I want her on the Golden Bachelorette. Oh, oh that would be I, amazing. Listen, I, as I said to Margaret, I am open. I, of course, would, I'm always open to meeting anybody new, right? And But, you know, I have two great husbands before them that came. Mm. And I think at bar. this point... It, well, you've been to Blue Stone yeah. Manor. You've seen a little bit glimpse into my life. You know, it's it, you ha I. It's going to be hard to have someone just integrate. And I'm not as tolerant as I used to be in the mm. old days. Well, and also because you know you what you like. Yeah, not as malleable life, life too, mm -hmm. where someone has to really check a lot of boxes to be worth the Dorinda time. Well, someone said to me recently, a very good friend of ours. And by the way, where's my book? Oh, we gotta get your <laughs> book in here. Book. Where is my book? And where's Margaret's yeah, book? Yeah, our books are. We gotta yes. get both of them. We, we better get here. That's we have it. a I'm, Teresa I'm and Jackie. That's <laughs> Teresa and Jackie. <laughs> yeah, they're they're accounted for. <gasps> okay. <laughs> we didn't design the room. I'm we not a well <laughs> bitch over that. Yes, Cliff. Exactly. Exactly. Cliff. Uh. Not acceptable. <laughs> Um, I said I always go wrong when I go on a couple of dates with someone and they start to do this with me. So what are you up to this weekend? I'm like, that is none of your business. <laughs> 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 and it's like they're just like trying to get to know you. I, know, like, I mean, no. that is so funny. Why are you asking? I'm like, what? I mean, <laughs> I th that is so funny. No, she's going. I'm going to rally that she is going. I'm going for it. That I want her on the Golden Bachelor because there's so many men on there. I said they had six texts. A lot yeah. of them were widowers. And I think that they were, you know, some of them were really Dorinda's level. Yeah. And, and then she'll have her pick. Ooh, well, or wow. maybe on the next season of Love Hotel because the Bravo girlies got into I'm that with a, Shannon. I'm not a great dater. No, okay. And like Luann is per was perfect for that because she is really a great dater. And she, I, I could be a great dater, I guess, if I put an effort in. But <laughs> well, there, there I is don't that know. I believe in, I believe I in fate. Because okay. on a date, you have to let people know what you're up to on the weekend. Yeah, which, she's a, yeah. No, she's I have like, my eyes on it, believe it or not. This is an exclusive. I <laughs> <laughs> who? Who do we have our eyes on? Is the coffee cart guy from the asylum? I do like, have <laughs> my eyes on a couple of people, but you know, I'm very, people don't know this about me, but I'm, I, I, I'm very mysterious. I don't, you know, you, as you see in my life, you see me, then you don't see me. I kind of slither to the Berkshires. I do my own thing. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. And I think it's important to, you know, not put everything out on the table until you're sure about yes, things, But she's right? very nurturing. You are. Mm -hmm. I will say, she's very nurturing, very giving. They experienced and, it. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. She, she no, made us lasagna. And garlic she's bread. A delicious. And she's really the best. And she's such a natural caretaker. Mm -hmm. um, someone would really be very blessed. Oh. Do you to know anyone? Be in a relationship Margaret, with Dorinda Medley. I tried to set her up once, remember? How'd that oh, go? That guy was, was dying. It was a disaster, I'm oh, sorry. Oh no, why? It was what kind was... of funny. I'm gonna tell you something. Mark my words. I mark my words, because I'm a bit of a white witch, as you guys know. Mm -hmm. 63. 63. When you're 63. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm, I'm listen. Gonna, I, 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 I've dreamt about it now three times. Ooh, 63. Really? I don't think I'll get married again, because why? Yeah. Right? But I think 63 is gonna be when I Feel s I think you have to be, in order to be in a relationship, you have to be settled mm -hmm. and you have to be present. And I feel like right now with so much going on, you know, I'm trying to develop this new the show and get yeah. that, you know, the pilot up and going. Mm -hmm. I'm, Hannah's finally settled. I've got a lot of different, we're doing the, the yes, fun ambition tour. tour. Yeah. So there's a lot of moving parts, yeah, you know. Busy. And yeah. I'm ha here, you know, a, a good, which is very good, but you know, when you're happy and you're content and you have a lot of great friends, it it's hard to move that needle but, a little bit, right? It's hard to find right? space for someone to, to enter yeah. into that. It would be very hard for me at this point. I did say this to Greg Kaleo the other night. It would be very hard at this point in my life to have someone in my life that didn't love my friends. Mm. Because my friends have journeyed me through yes. so much. Yes, yeah. you know, of course. That they, they would have to like them. I yes. couldn't do that anymore. No, of course not. Oh. Everyone's going to love your friends. Whoever loves you is going to love your friends. And I want vice yeah. versa. And yes. also I feel any, like yes, a Marge sign off on a man is a great blessing. Yes. 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 And I think to Dorinda, you know, she's... she's oh, my God, she's enough she's about Dorinda. Picker. Let's <laughs> keep it moving. Yeah, <laughs> she is a good picker. I know, we're going <laughs> to... I, I do love that you two have been able to bond and become such closer yes. friends. I'm wondering, though, like, your friendships with each other's cast members in the in the Roni world and the New Jersey world, are, are we close with anyone else on the cast? Because I know you were previously close with Teresa. I'm, I am kind of curious if your friendship but with but Marge I'm not, is... I don't, it's not previous. I don't do that thing where... 
I, I, and I've never been exclusionary with anybody. Yeah. When I, you know, I've met so many great people in the Bravo world, and I can't get involved in what's going on with everything on the show. You know, I meet a person, I like them. That's my relationship yeah. with them. And I don't get involved in the noise of all that. And yes, I am friends with other people from all the different casts. Mm -hmm. I think the thing that goes on individually in these shows, you know, it shouldn't bleed over to real life. Mm. Unfortunately, mine has all bled over in real life <laughs> on my show, because um, my show is real life, yeah. and everyone's, you know, which yeah. is very unfortunate, yeah. what has occurred on our cast. Very. Mm. Very, um, I think it's devastating, truthfully, that it, it got to that level. But on the Roni cast, listen, obviously I was with Luann last night, mm -hmm. Ramona, I, I love that, you know, that cast is... Those women are lovely and, women, and, and they're and fun. I and would never, and Devin is close with and, them. You know, yeah. and, we're, and they're great, and I love to see them, and it's amazing. And I think yeah. it's important that you don't do that. Like, even when at one point when I wasn't getting along with Mona, you were still seeing her. Yeah, I we still doing, saw her. And it didn't bother yeah, me. Yeah, it didn't because bother. Because you, can't, you can't do that. You have to, like, you know, it is a bit, you know, the show, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And... It's just too difficult to try to manage that. We try to manage it so much when we're on the show. Yes, and, right. and Dorinda's never going to say to me, do this, do that. We're, we're not those no. people. The one thing about Dorinda and I, we're, we're very much grown-ups. Yeah. Yes. And, and not petty. I That's need you two on a cast together. I know. Because they're oh trying to figure out Jersey. Well, Let's bring Dorinda on the Jersey. Exactly. I, you know what a great cast really would be? I think Tell us. myself, Dorinda, Luann. Oh. oh God! That and, would no, be no, 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 and like bring in a few other people from oh, Jersey, yeah, like Dolores, a, Dolores, a, Je, a Jen Fessler, because we're all women of a certain age, yes. right? The, the, the grown-ups, a, a Melissa, oh, just yeah. for like you know fun, oh, good okay. times. You know, the women of a certain age all together, I think, could be kind of funny. I just, would, it's filmed in the Lincoln Tunnel. You just go back and yeah. forth. Do you <laughs> know? Wouldn't it be fun? I was looking at Southern Charm's trailer, mm. which oh, I think looks fantastic. Beautiful. I'm a huge Southern Charm. Really? Oh, I, yeah. I knew that about you. I, I love Southern Charm and I love the Mormons. The oh, oh Wait, gosh. I'm the obsessed. What's it called again? I'm not quite Mormon up, guys. but I have a yes. very hard time differentiating them. Okay. The, 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 everyone has they the same alike. extensions. Yes, yes. It's, it's tough. But Which they're all tough. beautiful. They are beautiful. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm obsessed with like Taylor's TikTok. Oh, she's I don't know what it is, but I every know. day I tune into Taylor's you TikTok. You guys could dance together. I feel you guys would have fun with her. They I like her personality. She reminds energy. me of me a little bit. She's spicy. Yeah. Oh, right? she's totally spicy. Yeah. But wow, I, I, what I love about what? what I love about I, mean, I didn't think I, I wouldn't peg you for the Taylor of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what do you think? Who do you think she would align with more than Taylor? Um. I, that I that I'm not sure of because I'm not all caught up. Of t from what I you know watched of Taylor so far, I, I wouldn't put you down as that one. I call well, her the slutty talker. She's she's tough. Well, I <laughs> she's a little messy. I, I I haven't done any threesomes or anything yet. No, but by, yeah. by the time you guys, hey, but that was If I got to sixty-three, I may be all 60, over the place. Surf for Celine life in like, Utah. And by the way, I'm not even slut shaming her. I think she's adorable and yeah. everything else. But maybe I, I don't a, put Dorinda in that category. Maybe mm -hmm. there's a nice Mormon out there. <gasps> oh, that's good. Any Mormon oh. watching, Dorinda's ready. But um, the thing I love about the Southern Charm cast that I think would be so interesting is it's big. Yeah, yeah it is a big yeah, cast. Yeah, it's, it's like a 12-person cast. Mm -hmm. And I think when you, you, what you were saying, when you have a lot of people, there's so many moving parts and so, mm -hmm. you know, on the last season I was on, the New York, I think there was only like five of us. And it's tough to film when there's only five. It is, it, it is. It puts a lot of pressure on all of you. Mm -hmm. Listen, we had a decent amount of people on our cast. Mm -hmm. and You, you know, do. And it was still tough. Yeah, it was still tough. <laughs> so, um, well, I love, because I, I do love, because we love Andy, and I, I love when he gets in some drama himself. Oh, I love it. Because this time. I, yeah, well, this time with the Jennifer Aiden. Yes. Wishing her well. Mm -hmm. How did, because we all know you and Jennifer Aiden, you have your ups and downs and downs and downs and downs. How did, how did it feel hearing that? And what were your thoughts on her saying she was back on Instagram Live? I, I just knew that was a mistake. You don't do that. You don't be presumptuous. You, don't, you, you shouldn't be cocky. I've said no. that before. Until... You know, the entire cast knows and you get that call. Um, you don't have to clap back at people. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous when you're doing an Instagram live. Who, it's childish and ridiculous. And, you know, and then it's making headlines from every nonsense and you know it's not true. So it's just like, bury yourself. I don't care. But then Andy came back and, and said it straight. And, that, that, you know, that was amazing. I think it's important, too, during these times, even when, you know, they put me on pause. I just went silent. I don't know if you remember that time. Yeah. Because it's a time for them to step back a bit you to step back a bit yes and the silence is where the kind of the opportunity to make the decision making go when you do all these other things and you keep talking it just keeps 
Mm-hmm. Right? It makes it hard to your silence. You came out like you came out with so many new yes. things in yeah. that time too. You were busy with I that really that busy. first phase of on pause. Yes, like, yes. You I did guess. so many things. That's the point of dialing it back, right? It's well, just like yeah. like you shake a can of soda. We've said yeah. it before, and the point is you don't open that can of soda. Mm. We right. all should just be also like, to these talking peri- about other stuff. Margaret and I talked about this a lot. These periods, I, I, I remember when I, when it first happened. I was like, you know, I know it, it's. I'm not gonna lie to you. People are like I, the people. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say this, but the people that go on Instagram are like, I've made a decision, and I'm so happy to be. I'm like, you're not. You're lying because I cried my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> I got off the phone. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I let it be known to Andy and everyone that I was not happy. Not happy. But I also, when I had the opportunity to step back a bit, it gave me the opportunity to finally write my book. Yeah. You know, and I was very lucky because it was during COVID, so I could really spend some time with my parents, be at Bluestone Manor, mm-hmm. you know, and finalize making Bluestone Manor bourbon. So I used it as this opportunity to sort of disappear a little bit and, and you know, recreate myself a bit. Yeah. I will say something funny, and I, and I did say this, which is, you know, it is a little weird. Everybody's weighing in on your career. You're walking yeah. down the street, and people are like, Marge, I hope you come back. If I saw someone at Goldman Sachs, I'm just going to give you an example. Yeah. I, I did yeah. mention this. And, like, there's issues at Goldman Sachs. I say, wow, I hope you're really not fired. You know what I'm saying? Do people say that? It, that's what you're thinking. If people have to remember, this is a job. And, you know, people love you. And it's so sweet. But everybody's weighing in on your career publicly. Mm. And it is a little weird, right? It is. It is it is a little. I said that. Well, it, again, I got lucky because it was COVID. It was COVID. So, so I went up you. to the Berkshires. I closed those gates. And I was like... Bye. You know, Bye. even <laughs> even some of my really close friends are just like, oh, what do you think's going to happen? You think you're going to be asked back? Oh, my God, what are you going to do? You're going to be unemployed. I'm like, I'm not unemployed. I have a business yeah. and I have a life and I, you know, I'm successful separate from this. But everybody doesn't realize it is a job. Mm-hmm. So, you know, all it's, these ladies on the show. It's bigger than that. People don't realize it's a contraction. We're all we're over under contract. every year. Every year. Have a one yes. year contract mm-hmm. with maybe options and stuff. But I but just. Would anybody do that to somebody working? That's what, now I'm oh, that's like such a Or you're point. at like a restaurant and like the bill comes. Thank you so much. I hope you don't lose your job tonight. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, exactly. <laughs> so it's it's really like when you think of it that way. I would never. You know, you're, yeah. you hear you know Bank of America is having issues. I, am I calling up the yeah. CEO? Hey man, hope you're okay. Hope they hope they don't slice you. I mean, you. the difference is people you know? are so invested in. They're the invested. Yes, and it's so that. sweet. And they love who they love. And, so, and, I'm and so, a lot of yes. people love you. Yes. No, I am so grateful, yeah. and I love it. And I go, you know, I don't no, know what's going to happen. But, but don't listen, wor- we're li- when you're first when you first get the call, uh, uh, listen. I even feel like it. You know, while you're filming, you know everything is taken care of. There's an Uber every day. You have, you're just just eating, drinking, and then literally the last day of filming. Everybody until you disappears. Go back to work. Yeah, I until mean, you like, go so back. you wake up the next morning and you're sort of <laughs> like, what? Because now you have to walk the streets. And, and, like, I remember thinking, where's my car? I'm like, that's right, I'm not filming anymore. So, even when your season's done filming yes. and production rep, that's even a transition. Mm. So, you know, in any kind of transitions and being put on pause, being fired, show not coming back, is always laced with fear, yeah. you know, sadness, mm-hmm. uh, of course. embarrassment. You know, insecurity, because it's, you got to remember, I, I know your cast says, I know my cast, my cast, our cast at New York felt it. You, it's a love affair. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. If you take yeah. it seriously, it's a love yeah. affair. You eat it, you drink it, you yeah. sleep it. So any transition is a transition then, yeah. by definition. It is. Yes. And I, you know, I love the show. I do. I love the show. It turned a corner. It mm-hmm. did turn a corner for all of us on the show. And w- whatever happens, happens. And I have to, you know, resign myself to it. You know what? Whatever is meant to be is meant Correct. to be. Correct. Do you have like a, a dream, wish, hope, or desire for what the next iteration of New Jersey looks like? Do you? Yes, in my head, I back? definitely okay. do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, can can we share a little teaser, or tidbit of what um, that looks like for you? Listen, I would like to be with the people who could keep the drama light and not take it into the r- real life. Yeah. And that's that's really what it is. Mm-hmm. And that that's all. I would like to be with the people who I can have. My petty arguments with, I could fight about, you know, Christmas decorations, outfits, <laughs> you're late, da, 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 makeup, and get back together. Not where it crosses over into people who aren't on the show and things like, you know, mm-hmm. and into my family. Do you also, think that there are, like, untapped or unknown girls in New Jersey who you think would be good oh, on yeah, the show? Oh, yeah. Listen, I, you know, Jen Fessler was untapped. And I, you know, and I, and I, and and I like, spoke to her. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I was like, you should go on the show and everything else. And I sent a video to my... Uh, Showrunner, I go, what do you think of my girlfriend, Jen Fessler? And she's like, she's adorable. Put it in. 
Oh. And that's what I did. Oh, wow. Also, too, you don't want to see a cast. I, I don't. I, as a viewer, don't want to see a cast that's split. <clears throat> No. It's hard. Yeah. I don't like when the cast splits and they you start to have to do separate filming. The one beautiful thing about New York, which I said, they would say the most crazy oh. to each other. And the next day they're fine. Wait, and no. it, right? it would happen at Blue Star Mirror. Oh you guys, guys would be like a the explosive fight. It's I'm so like true. the bags are all packed, I have to imagine. Then no you just one, wake up and have breakfast. No one did conflict resolution like the OG run. They were oh, the yeah. best. It was they, insane. That cast was unbelievable. That That's why people stuff. love them. No? We'd all wake Your up picture? and we'd be like I'd be like, I feel, I feel that too. I feel like, yeah. Because you know what? That's the way real people are, mm. and and they're they're amazing, mm. and it's great. And I've had that with my regular. Maybe girlfriends. it took a little longer with Giovanni and stuff. How are you feeling? We're feeling Giovanni. But that's no, yeah. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. But hey, I'm you kidding. know what? There's a song out of it. But you know so. what? We got some damn good episodes out of that yeah. Giovanni and stuff. We're all feeling Giovanni. <laughs> yeah. yes, exactly. I travel with my real life girlfriends. There's 12 of us that travel together all the time. <laughs> Any of any of those twelve girls? You, you know, my, wanna... no, they th no, but they and listen, we have arguments with my regular girlfriend group sometimes. This one, you know, wants to go here. This one's bitching about the restaurant bill. This one, I'm like, shut up, that, you know, and we like this. It's over. So this is all part of the blonde. Edition. I was gonna yes, wait, and that's what I was gonna. So we gotta get back to that because that is what we're here for today. Yes. I, know, I feel I like we got curious. a mini show right yeah, here. Right we right did. Yeah. And because I feel, I think even in the promo there was a little homage to Madonna, of course. Yes. yes. What is both of your favorite Madonna songs? If you can pick one. Oh, I know. Oh, oh. go ahead. I know what mine is. Express yourself. Oh, um, yes. I'm totally like a prayer. Oh, I know yeah. you love that. I love, I love that. Love too slap. Yeah. <laughs> but the, and the music video. Don't I go love for it. second best baby. She That's could my sing. mantra. I can't sing. I love it. Yes. Are we singing? To have. I mean, that's like a prayer video. I die. Oh, so it's good. so good. Yeah. And that was Cynthia Bailey's husband. Wasn't that? Really? Who was that in that? Was no. it that? Cynthia Bailey's husband was in the Like a Prayer video? Who was the guy in the Like a Prayer video? I gotta look that up. We gotta talk about this on the Blind Ambition Tour because we gotta figure this out. Oh, oh, yes. Thank yes. you. Oh, my God. Yes, Check Cynthia. Wow. Noelle's Check father. The best yes. Madonna fan and Bravo fan. Why have Thank we never you. talked about this with Cynthia Bailey? Oh, my God. That's wow. amazing. That's I wild. Love that's... I recognize him immediately because, like a prayer lover, oh um, I remember him from the video. So handsome. And then I saw him on House. I was like, oh, holy shit. That's a guy from the Like a Prayer video. Oh, so you really are a fan of the song. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, that's I amazing. had a fun Because I was in the clubs. Yeah. Fun thing happened the other day. I was in town, and this beautiful man has opened up this coffee oh. truck in Great Barrington. Beautiful, so I thought, ooh, I want to go down that immediately. Got to go get my coffee. Turn into he a opens it up, and it ends up being the guy that Samantha was dating on Sex in the City. He now lives in the Berkshires. Stop. Oh my God! Crazy, he coffee yeah, cart. yeah, and I he's love. still very good looking. Ooh, oh, okay. well, that's an option. Yeah, no, that is an option. He has a very beautiful little wife that, like, is oh. a kind of semi hippie, gorgeous, glammy. Okay, yeah. right. beautiful, well, so nice. <laughs> because everybody watching this is now just, I mean, continually obsessed with the two of you. Can you let everybody know where there is still a chance to see the Blonde Adventure? Yes, Club? yes. We have City Winery in Philly on November fourth, the day okay. before Election Day. Yeah, okay. we have okay. November 6th. We are in Boston. The day after you got a party after election. Yes, yes. right. At, yes. At, at no matter City, what happens. At City Winery. Yes. And, and then? De December 2nd. In New York City, City yes. Winery. We're oh. back at home. I love ending a tour at home. Yes. yes. And also, like, you And we'll put the, the ticket links on yes. our store. And then we'll start something for the new year. I was yes. going to say, this just seems like the start of something going. Yes, we're going to keep it going. Yeah. It's easy. I said the other night to Margaret when we got off the stage in uh, Harrisburg, it was the first time where I got up and I thought, you know, it, it was not only just fun and interactive, but I felt like people knew us a little better. Did you feel yes, that way? Yes, absolutely. The, really, like people asked us just really great questions. And, and it wasn't just too. about housewives. Yeah. Of course, there were housewife yeah. questions. Yes. But people asked us like a lot of yeah, other questions us, about us, which was nice, like right? Questions, which was yes. so interesting mm. about deep questions, which mm -hmm. was so nice. At, as women, like, yes. as a woman, one woman said, I thought, I love this. I love yeah, yeah it was really great. I hope people know going that they are the same size. So you can make them do outfit swaps. On yes. Because yes, they did can. that before. <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful I'm her size. Yes. Yeah. I'm so happy. Thanks to drugs. <laughs> Thank you, Seema Glutide. Yes, amen.